So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A Level Maths videos and free tutoring. This video is about multiplying brackets. So how does it work? Well, what does it mean first of all? When I say a bracket, I mean stuff inside a bracket I want to multiply it. So this thing is multiplying this whole bracket. That means I want two of these this bracket. So two of this bracket looks like x plus five and another x plus five. Which means I've got two x's and two fives, which means I've got two x plus ten, because two fives make ten, two x's make two x. Now an easy way to do it is use these lines I've drawn. These lines are extra by the way on the top. Okay. It just kind of helps you visualize what I'm about to say which is the number outside times each thing inside the bracket. Okay, that's the quick way to do it, rather than writing x plus 5 twice. And when it gets harder, you really don't want to do that. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 5 is 10, and we're done. Yep. And I'll do another example. Uh, I've got a letter outside. So that letter times is everything inside the bracket. Now, if you're not sure about... Uh, multiplying letters together and stuff like that. I have made other videos about probably look at my video on substitution and messing around with letters really um, and hopefully you understand it. So x times x is x squared just because x times so a number times itself means squaring so x times x is x squared x times minus 3 is minus 3x three that's what it is um, this is another example. The thing outside times in each thing inside. We've got three things inside the bracket now. You've got an m, a 5, and a minus y. So y times m is ym. y times 5 is 5y. And y times minus y is minus y squared. Okay? Um, but it gets more interesting when I've got two brackets. Okay? Basically, the two brackets means this whole thing times this bracket. And now this whole thing is made up of two things. So that means each of the two things have to times everything in the bracket. So 3x times everything in this bracket and 2 times everything in this bracket. So let's do that. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. 3 times 4 is 12. x times x is x squared. That's why. Um, and then we do 3x times minus 1, which is minus 3x. And then 2 times 4x, which is 8x, and 2 times minus 1, which is minus 2. So I've got 12x squared minus 3x plus 8x minus 2. Now, I've got minus 3x plus 8x. That's actually the same as 5x is, because 8 minus 3 is 5. Um, so really, I could simplify this bit to that, and now I've got 12x squared as before, and minus 2 as before, except for this has become just 5x. So that's how you do that. Uh, in summary, this first one times everything, and then the second one times everything in the second bracket. Uh, now, I haven't bothered writing the lines of it, but we're still on this example, but we're still doing it. So, uh, 2 times m is 2m, 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, I actually treat this as a minus 5, even though it's taking away. You'll see that more and more in algebra. Uh, so, minus 5 times m is minus 5m, and minus 5 times minus 1 is actually plus 5. Minus times a minus is a plus. And then if we simplify that, we've got 2m and minus 5m, which is the same as minus 3m altogether, because 2 minus 5 is minus 3. And then you've got a 6 and a 5, which comes to 11 altogether. So we just simplify that line to get that line, and that's it.